Happy Monday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome to another week of teaching and learning. Today, scholars, I want you to remember how smart you are. Remember that every day our goal is to make sure that we build your brilliance because I know that you are Mark. You are the best students in Memphis, Shelby County Schools. Don't let anybody, anybody keep you from learning, keep you from believing that you can be the best because great things are always happening at the Hill. Let's get started with our morning announcement. Good morning, Scenic Hills, Bob, Scenic Hills Elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the pro and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat of Nation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positive. I think positively. I take ownership for my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a bobcat. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. Today, we are spotlighting each and every one of you scholars. You were respectful and responsible during each of our lunch periods on Friday during Grandparents' Day. Thank you, and we appreciate you always following the 3R approach. Today's classroom spotlight goes to our grade K scholars in Miss Small's classroom. These scholars were caught being ready to learn when we visited their classroom last week. Keep up the great work. School wide events and activities. Scholars, today we begin Mastery Connect testing. Are you a brilliant bobcat, a rising star, or a double-digit scholar? Today is your first chance to earn a wristband and get inducted into one of our three proficiency clubs. 
On this day, our grade five scholars will take the reading assessment and grade two scholars in Dr. Rucker's room will take the reading assessment this afternoon. Scholars, make sure that you are courageously concentrating. Remember, you are only in competition with yourself. Each time that you take an assessment, you should be concentrating as hard as you can so that you can make sure that you level up. I can't wait to begin spotlighting scholars later on this week. In other announcements, this week we will begin our Clean Memphis in School field trips. Today, our grade three scholars will have their sessions. 301 will have their session at 8.30 and 302 will have their session beginning at 9.20 this morning. Scholars, make sure that you are on your very best behavior as you take part in these wonderful activities this year. On the screen, you will see just one of the activities that we had our scholars to take part in during Clean Memphis's visits on last year. Remember, scholars, if you are interested in joining the art club or the pink ladies, you have to see both of the Ms. Williamses in our building. Ms. J. Williams, you need to see her for art so you can sign up. And Miss C. Williams, you need to see her for the Pink Ladies. The Pink Ladies' first session will be this afternoon. It was such a special day for us. We just want to spotlight just a few of the scholars and staff that we caught in Dot Clothing for International Dot Day on Friday. We appreciate you participating in our second theme day. We'll be having theme day number three coming up really soon. Today, we have four Bobcat Scholars to celebrate. It was on this day that Jade Banks, Kanaya Johnson, Malaysia Douglas, and Antalia Merriweather were born. Jade, Kanaya, Malaysia, and Antalia, we are so excited to have you with us at the hill today so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. Now, if you see Jay, Kanaya, Malaysia, and Antalia anywhere across our campus, make sure that you give them a special birthday shout out. But for those who are in the room with Jay, Kanaya, Malaysia, and Antalia right at this moment, help me by turning, pointing to them, and saying happy birthday. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to mix it up today. We have been doing multiplication facts, but today you must be ready. Today, we will be doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. So make sure you are paying close attention. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a reminder that you have three seconds and three seconds only to answer these addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Pay close attention. Let's go. 95 plus 6. 101. Scholars, I hope that you used our strategy to count on. That means you start with the biggest number in your head and you count 
and move forward. So let's do it together. Count on, we need to go six places past 95. Are you ready? Count with me. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. Great job. Let's do one more multiplication fact with our nines. 11 times 9. 99. I know you got that one correct because we have been talking about anytime you multiply a number times 1, it, the answer is that number. Give yourself a big round of applause. You have been doing great things with your numbers. We are so proud of you. Continue to study. Tomorrow we will review our four multiplication facts. Make sure that you are studying. Our students in the spotlight. Today we are shining a light on scholars who served as office assistants and safety specialists on Friday. We are always so proud of each of our Bobcat scholars who are caught lending a helping hand. In our national holidays, scholars, I have a fun national holiday for you. Did you know that today is National Cheeseburger Day? So when you get home this afternoon, when you get in the car uh, from being picked up this afternoon, if you are riding the bus and you walk into the house this afternoon, if you are going to daycare and your parents pick you up either from daycare or aftercare, make sure that you ask them if they know that today is National Cheeseburger Day. You never know. You might be able to get yourself a cheeseburger for dinner. Our second national holiday is that today is National Respect Day. Now, we all know what it means to be respectful because that is one of our three R's that we talk about each and every day. So today's challenge question is, what will you do to show respect today? Today's read aloud is entitled, Peppy and the Parade. Remember that we are still spotlighting books for Hispanic Heritage Month. Have you ever been in a parade, seen a parade on television or in real life? Well, scholars, you're in for a treat because today our main character is very excited about a parade. Teachers, today's read aloud is 5 minutes and 30 seconds long. In addition to our read aloud, we have our phonics song for our scholars in pre-K and K. We have adding to 10 for our scholars in grades 1 and 2. And for scholars in grades 3, 4, and 5, we have our tips for learning multiplication facts. Scholars, remember that it is always a good idea to follow the 3R approach. We will be around to see if you are ready to learn today. Remember, every day we're building brilliant Bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.